All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. Before we get this video started, make sure you use the code YouTube for 15% off on all products on GFXcomet.com. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, check out the website. All right, welcome back to the channel. We are back with a logo tutorial. And today we have something very special, as you can see on my screen, Cyber Duels. This logo is made by Hasis Roblox, so I don't take any credit for this design. Alright, so a uh, quick little announcement. We have added a ton more new products to the store. As you can see, we have these icons and also the Robbery Simulator uh, logo PSC, as well as the Tapping Champions. Also, don't forget if you use the code YouTube in all caps, you get 15% off of all orders. So, uh, yeah. Go ahead, check it out, see what products you like, and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. First things first, we're going to type out our text, and I already installed a font, give me a second, let's do 100, 250, and uh, the font is called Ethnocentric, right over here, um, it's not exactly the same, but I suppose it works, <laughs> let's go right here, scale it up. Try to match the size and proportions. Uh, let's increase both of these. Both of these. All right. Let's start off with the cyber sex. Um, let me think about how he achieved this. All right. So a couple ways. Uh, if we double click, we're gonna change the color to this blue. We're gonna make a new layer right click and go to create clipping mask now we're just going to take our pencil shape fill is uh, on black and the stroke is off we're just gonna go click I'm just gonna click like that all right now we change the mode to overlay so like that and as you can see uh, if you hold alt and drag right over here it will make a copy automatically when you let go make some of these white So as you can see, there's some over here. Uh, you can change this one to normal to have some variation, just like that. Um, let me think. We could also use a rectangle tool. Colors on white. Just make that. Right click, create a clipping mask. Let's take this. Put it right here on overlay. Actually, on normal. There we go. Got this. He's a racist hole. Should right, we can make a click on this. Hit new layer. We're gonna use our brush tool. We just brush some areas. Increase, increase the opacity and flow. For example, down here, use black for up here, something like that. Let me change this mode to overlay. You can see the before, after. All right. Um. Oh yeah. So make a new layer. So just click, and when you make a new layer, it will automatically clip. When you use your pencil. You can see he did this slow, um, slow. I don't know what to call it. It's just a little effect on the letters. So we use a pencil. We're just going to create this. Something like this. Go up. Go up here. Um. All right. Right over here. And also over here. We got the R left. So. Let's go. There we go. I'm gonna take these and make these into overlay, as you can see. Um, yeah. So we're just gonna take these shapes and just spam them like that, <laughs> pretty much. Lower the opacity for these. And I want the dark shapes to copy. 
Alright, we're gonna take these. Put these on top of everything else. Alright, and that's the basic gist of this. So we're gonna click on the top layer, hold shift, click on cyber. And right click, go to convert to smart objects. And now we now we're going to hit control J to make a copy. Right click and go to rasterize layer. And we'll hold control, click on this icon to make a selection of your text. Of your text, we're gonna uh, and now we're gonna go to select, modify, and contract by I want to say 10. All right. Now we're gonna hit backspace twice. Control D to get rid of the selection. Now we're gonna hold control, click on this again. Now you're gonna make sure your colors are white. And uh, we're gonna hit Alt backspace twice. Control D. Now we got this little uh, outline, which we're gonna make into overlay mode. Um, let's actually let me think. All right, so normal. Let's make a copy. Hide one. We're gonna use one for now. This one. We're gonna go up to a rectangular marquee tool right over here. We're just going to um, just do this. Hit backspace to make a cut. To uh, make this little effect he has, this one, and uh, we're just gonna take this, copy this, and make this one into overlay. So we got something like that. And uh, for the white one, we're gonna make it layer. We're going to clipping mask into the into uh, this one. We use a brush tool. Select a blue color. For some, we're just going to paint it blue. Like that. All right. Um, we could lower this. Make this so overlay actually. Copy. Make this white. And take an eraser tool, and just erase out some parts. Now we're just gonna take everything. Convert small objects. Make a copy. Control J. Now we're going to make another copy. And we take the bottom layer we're gonna move it down and uh, we're gonna right click blending options and uh, I'm gonna go to color overlay I'm going to select this color all right and now we're gonna make a new layer we're going to use this eyedropper tool click on this color go to our pencil 